All right, so the idea of using a description file in the release um, is something that we can achieve uh, already, but at the moment it actually requires a previous job to actually regenerate um, this description file somehow. And in this example, uh, it's just a script using a file that does something and then puts it into a this release description txt file, right? Now, uh, the idea here, well, the problem here is uh, the release, release CLI needs to uh, get this file using export, uh, exporting this into an environment variable. So for example, here it's just saying cat uh, this file into this variable, and then we can just use the variable here, right? Now, the idea of this is to actually don't need to use the uh, environment variable anymore and just say description txt and yeah, we shouldn't we don't need to use this anymore no well, i'm just going to keep it here and as you can see i had already uh used this image so what i did is just take uh, i just took that mi uh, from next to actually put it into my fork of this project, and then I can just call it in the release CLI and say, okay, so what we're gonna do is let's just commit this, use the file. Oh, uh, I think I missed something here. The, want to use oh yeah from tag release from tag here lot yeah no no need to change here so what i can do is get tag and i'm just going to say taking release candidate one and then i can just put this one taking yeah and then if i go into the pipeline yeah, it should be a pipeline running that's going to generate this release. So yeah, the prepare stage stays the same. It's just going to create this um, release file that we actually saw in this step here. Yeah, and the idea once this is done, in theory, the release CLI should just uh, grab this. Uh, there might have been an issue generating the file, so I need to do this again. But anyway, let's see. This job should be running. Oh, come on. I just want to click on it. Okay, yeah, cool. So we can see the release CLI is taking the release description as a, as a text file. And if we look at this log line, uh, we can see that this description is actually uh saying what we, using what we told it to do from the files so if i go into the releases page for release candidate one yeah we can see uh b113 i see one and we can see here the description is already saying pull the new image using tag or this now, uh, as we saw there was an issue generating this file but basically this is the picture right just specifying a file as part of my CI uh, job like this, and then not having to do this complicated thing of catting and exporting into an environment variable. 